on our side, I'm Lauren Weaver, your Student Council Vice President. And I'm Manar Mohamedan, your Secretary. We have a bunch of things planned for the rest of this month. A week from today, on October 27th, we have a Halloween dance from 5 to 7 for $5 a ticket. If you want to help set up, meet in D307 the day of. Also, we have a spirit week leading up to Halloween starting Wednesday with Autumn Court, which is basically wearing fall outfits like neutral colors. Be on the lookout for the other days. That's it from Student Council. See, See you next, next time, time, Legends. legends. <laughs> Hello, Legends. Welcome to Northside TV. Here's the latest edition of the Weekly Northerner for Friday, October 20th, 2023. Free math tutoring continues next week. Math tutoring will be available right after school in the college lounge. Math tutoring will take place on Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30. Students, as it gets colder outside, don't forget blankets should not be worn in school for any reason. If it cannot fit into, into your book bag or inside of your locker, leave them at home. This is a safety and health concern. If you don't want to carry around your clothes all day, stop by your locker in the morning to safely store them and remember to get them at the end of the day. If you are looking to get involved after school, Northside Mark Club is always looking for new members. All students interested in will have a chance to participate in the trial or prosecution or defense attorney or as a witness. Those interested can stop by B207 on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. for the next meeting. You do not need to have any prior experiences or knowledge about law or trials. See Mrs. Heisman at B207 for any questions. If you're interested in building, lighting, and stage work, Northside's Backstage Crew is looking for new members. You can sign up in the choir room, D160. Stage crew meetings are on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. If you are a student in co-op at this amp lab, or have an internship, send in photos to be featured in our yearbook. You can send your photos to the Northside Yearbook Instagram page or email them to Mr. Bailey. And now for your weekly weather update with tonight's forecast and an overview over the next several days. It's a breezy and chilly night with rain showers expanding across the region. Overnight lows dip into the lower 40s. Lingering rain showers will move into the area Saturday morning before tapering off in the afternoon. It's still breezy and high tops out in the mid-50s. We have more sunshine on the way for Sunday, but it remains cool. Higher in the low 50s with a breezy northwest wind. Warmer air returns near the middle of the next week as high will reach the middle of the upper 60s. And now for the Legend Sports update. The fall sports season is nearly over for all teams. The football team has two weeks off before their first playoff game after getting a bye week. And winter sports are getting ready to start up. Next week, the girls basketball team will get their season started as they travel to face off against Tura Busco High School on Thursday, October 26th. Coming up, you'll hear from the Northside's latest team of the week. Good morning, Northside. This week for our team of the week, we have our girls cross country team. Congrats, ladies. All right, Northside, I have with me senior Destiny Douglas. She is has advanced to regionals this week. She is running at the Plex out north. Destiny, how many miles have you ran this season? I have officially hit my 500 mile goal on Monday. So I would say right now I'm at like 505 probably. So since August? Since June. June, you have ran 500 miles. What is your favorite part about running? I would say just the team. Honestly, if it weren't for the team, I would not still be here. <laughs> um, also, I feel like uh, I feel like I have a lot more confidence in myself since I started running. And what is your end goal? I already hit my end goal. <laughs> Don't tell me get that. Um, my end goal is just to run a better time at regionals. All right. Thank you, Destiny. All right. Next, I have Annabelle with me. She is an 11th grader here at Northside. Annabelle, what is your favorite pre-race meal? My favorite pre-race meal will always be shrimp scampi. I always make it before a race, and um, I even like take leftovers from my other teammates. Yeah, it's the best. And you have to make your own meal, pre-race yeah. meal? Yes. Yeah, you don't my, like it when other people make it's it? It's my good luck charm. Oh, so you, are you superstitious? Mm-hmm. And you are running this Saturday as well. Mm -hmm. What's your time goal? Um, 
At least under 22. Awesome. 3.1 miles in under 22 minutes. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Annabelle. All right. And last but not least, I have Jackie with me, who is also advancing this Saturday to run in regionals. Jackie, what is your favorite workout you have done this season? Um, I really like doing long runs with my team. Even what is a long run? How long is a long run? Um, at least like five miles, sometimes more. And what is your time goal for this weekend? Um, under 21.30. Under 21 minutes, 30 seconds, 3.1 miles. And do you think that'll get you to state? Uh, maybe. All right, so state oh. is the goal. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, Jackie. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Now it's time for the latest 3DE update and some messages from the Northside Administration team, including the latest edition of the taste of the 05. Hi, Northside. Today has been our 10.2 presentations and all of our business classes for 10th graders. Right now, I am standing here with a team that is just about to present their 10.2 presentation. Can you start by telling us your name and your role on your team? I am Tania. I am leader. Uh, my name is Mauricio. I am researcher. My name is Carla and I am editora. My name is Alianne and I am researcher. My first question for the team is, what are you presenting about today? We are presenting about EBTech. We chose dental assistant. So it seems like you might be a little nervous to present. Can you tell me just how you're feeling today? I feel nervous. Uh, me too, I feel bad, but it's my first presentation in English. And then I heard that you guys are going on a big trip to both Ivy Tech campuses this Thursday. How do you feel about this field trip to Ivy Tech? I'm relaxed and good. I feel good because it's a good place. Thank you very much, team. I better get you back to class. That way you can present your presentation. Best of luck. Hi, Northside. Welcome back to Staff 101. It's been a while. I'm here with Mr. Mr. Schleter. How's it going? What do you do here at Northside, Mr. Schleter? So here at Northside, I teach ELL. So I teach English to our non-native English speakers or to some of our um, students who speak multiple languages. So I teach English and I'm also the student council sponsor. So what has been your experience here at Northside so far? Um, I've had a really wonderful experience at Northside so far. I love the amazing diversity of our school. I love our school spirit. And I love that our school balances its accomplishments in academics and, and uh, sports and activities so well. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie would probably be The Truman Show. Have you ever seen The Truman I've Show? I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. It's amazing, but do not look up the ending before you watch it. Okay. Keep it a surprise. Is it like an older movie? Oh, I wouldn't say older. I think it's from the early 2000s. So I don't know if you want to call that older, but... It's older. It's not It's not old, but... Yeah, older. It's not new yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. These days I do, these days I do triathlons, though, mm -hmm. which is a fun swim, bike, run, race. So I try, to, I try to stay active as well. How old are you? 26. 26. So where did you go to college? At, in college, I went to IUPUI okay. in Indianapolis, which was great. And... Um, College was a wonderful experience. I got to study abroad in China, oh, wow. and a lot of things led to me pursuing um, an education degree. I taught in Japan for a year as well. What did you teach? Which is really fun. English. So the same subject that I'm teaching right now. You like it? Yes. Good love stuff. it. Love it. Guys, if you want a really good tongue twister, say Schleter five times fast with something else with an S, gonna gonna mess up with your bread. Anyways, thanks for watching Staff 101 with Mr. Schleter. It's been a pleasure. Um, Anything you want to say, just as a final goodbye, or side? Go Legends. Go Legends. Good morning, Legends. I'm here with Zanae. She's going to be our first 
tips for success here at Northside High School. Today, what do you do to be successful here at Northside? Um, to be successful here at Northside, I usually just, during my free time, because I do a lot of after school activities, as a free activities, during my free time, I find a way to study or find something fundamental to do, because it's pointless. So what happened with your Spanish grade? Oh, it went up. I was at like a, a D minus, actually, and now I'm sitting at a B plus. And what did you do? I just studied more, like literally. I just sat there and took five minutes out of my day while I was eating before dance practice to just study my notebook. Great. Thank you, Zanae. Five minutes a day to better grades. Have a great day, legends. Hey, Northside. Welcome to the Dad Joke Edition. The last one for me. I'm going to miss all of you. Today's a very bittersweet day. I'm sad. We're all sad. But because I'm sad, I'm not laughing. It's not happening. I don't care. The only thing people are going to laugh about today is how shiny my head is in this light. What up? Okay. okay hang on. Trevi Trev, I know how you love to run. <laughs> You're already laughing, but it's going to be okay. I know how you love to run. So this is a running joke. Okay. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> That's not the joke. Okay. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, okay. okay. All right. How was the handsome runner described? I don't know. He was dashing. <laughs> that doesn't count. Cut that out. Cut that out. Okay. That didn't happen. All right. Okay. All right. Yesterday, a clown held the door open for me. It's not fair when, when you read them. It's not fair because I laugh just because you're reading them. Because I'm funny. Okay. Yesterday, a clown held the door open for you. Such a nice gesture. <laughs> Guaranteed they don't get that. <laughs> I was they're thinking like, the same thing. Like, Do you guys know what a jester is? No. Jester. No, it's, 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 it's a clown. A type of clown. All right. <clears throat> what vegetable is kind to everyone? Kind to everyone. Uh, Sweet potato. <laughs> I wanted to learn how to drive a, a stick shift. But I couldn't find the manual. <laughs> Y'all don't get that one either, do you? <laughs> oh, hey. hey she drives. Proud of you. Proud of you. She drives cars. Why is R only a pirate's second favorite letter? Because uh, he loves the C. Hey, he yeah. loves the C. Hey, uh, can I say? Okay. This is off the old noggin here. Um, do you want to know where I keep all my dad jokes stored? in the database. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I tried to make a belt out of watches. It was a total waste of time. <laughs> Robert, why are you not laughing? Okay. <clears throat> this is the last one. This is our last dad joke. Oh, that was a really good one. Makes me sad. Oh. Woo! Okay. Okay. A friend said she didn't understand cloning. I told her, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, North Dad Side. jokes will not be the same without you. We're going to miss you, Northside. God bless you all, and have a great weekend. You said we. Okay, good morning, Northside. Today for the taste of the 05, we are definitely not far from home. We are over in the Kelly Automotive area across the street. It's indoors. And we are going to yeah. Oh dude, there's a lot of stuff. All kinds of vegetables, Mr. Burr. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, look at those donuts. It's a cinnamon roll. Yeah, yeah. Can't have those. We just. Say the shows, chocolate croissants, lots of breads down there, all kinds of pieces. All kinds of stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like that blueberry thing. Looks good. What are you selling? Everything? 
Yes, sir. We have all natural meats, beef, pork, chicken, and eggs. They're produced uh, locally here in Allen County near Woodburn, Indiana. Uh, all non-GMO, no hormones, no antibiotics. Okay. I'm going to walk around and check it out. All right. Thank you. Oh, you even have some jewelry. Oh, there's some honey. I know. what I was looking at. Real honeybees making. Oh, there. Look at the hive, man. Real beehive. Love it. Five, five pounds of raw honey for $28. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It's, it's five pounds of honey for $7 or $35 a good deal? I don't know either. You know what? It probably is. Honey's gotten expensive. Oh, look at Oh, look, man. That's a real beehive. Those critters are moving around. Wow. Do not let them get out. Maple syrup. Real maple syrup. I love the A good bottle of maple syrup. Okay, north side, we have found something really cool here. These are air plants. And you are? Jan Nagel from Nagel's Janet. Garden House. Right, wonderful. Now, tell me about the air plants. The air plants grow on uh, tropical trees in the areas. And they need sunlight and they need water too for nutrition, but they don't need any soil to grow. So once a week, you will take this out of the container. And I use, I have a cut flower business. And so when I dry my flowers, I look for use for them and I found this container. So everything in there is dried flowers from my garden. Oh, wow. And so then, um, once a week, you'll take the air plant and put it in a cup or a bowl of water for about 15 minutes. And then after the 15 minutes, you shake it off and put it on a paper towel to dry. And then after it's dry, you put it back. And that's all there is to take care of it. You don't have to water the whole thing. Wow. You just water the air plants. Just water the air plant yes. and it'll it'll yeah. flourish. Yeah, it'll flourish. Does it get bigger? Yes, they um, actually grow and they multiply. And once in their lifetime, they'll send out a flower shoot. Now, this is a dried flower shoot. But six months to a year later, you will see where a little baby plant Oh, we got, we got a baby plant. Yeah, so they reproduce. And once this baby plant gets half the size of the mother plant, you can tear it apart and you'll have two plants. So they're kind of a novelty plant. And I came up with the um, idea for the stands because people wanted something for their office. Where yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. Necessarily. Right, so they're right, great for right, a mantle right. or a bookcase. Yeah. Wonderful. That's All right, well, I'm going to get one. but. I think I'm gonna look for something a little smaller just for my daughter. Okay, this size is uh, 15, and these are 15, and these are 20. The give me, give me one of these. I'm trying well, to you think. You have to pick out a color. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna have. Well, I I know my daughter, and I think this one would be All something right. she would like. All right. Good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, Northside. As I was leaving, I found Jessica Rogers Miller. Hi, Mrs. Happy Miller. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday morning. You got to enjoy the farmer's market. Yes. I, only, so I bought one thing. You did? I yeah. love their soap. I'm going to get some soap. You're going to get soap? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. And on our way out, we found this two game. <laughs> She's happy to see us on our Saturday morning, right? Okay, bye. Thanks for tuning in. That's all for today's edition of the Weekly Northern. Have a great day, ladies. We'll see you here next week.